previously on Let's Play Football Manager 22, Sheffield Wednesday. Here we go, Carabao Cup fourth round. Oh, and we're for first team out of a hat, and we are at home. Who are we going to get? As long as I don't get Sheffield United. It'll be a good battle, though. Everton. Huh, feel a little bit disappointed. All right, we are playing Ipswich away. I've made four changes from our Carabao Cup game against Bristol Rovers. I think Barino needs to be dropped completely. I think I'm just going to get rid of him. Oh no, we're going to do our son and counter. Don't like it. I don't like it. Come on, tackle. We're back. No excuses now. Oh no, they got the ball through. Oh, oh that's a penalty. Save it. Straight down the middle. Holding possession, not bad away. Keeping passes together. It's just that. How can you have a club? Just go to a club and they've got no fitness coach. Couple of changes from our last game. I want to be impressed today. Go put on a show. Oh no, no, no. Low on go. You twat. Yeah, take a draw. Take a draw. Come on. Yeah, I'll take that. I probably would have taken a draw at the beginning of the game. Well, looks at that. I guess where, this is where we can pinpoint it a little bit. Ah, you f Is it too... S oh! Home goal. <laughs> Was I expecting that? Another draw. Well, it was working, this formation. Should I be happy? It's early in the season. Good day, YouTube. I hope you're all having a great day. Welcome to the 10th episode of the Let's Play Football Manager 22 Sheffield Wednesday series. In this episode, we play against second place Wimbledon in the league, and then we move on to the fifth round of the Carabao Cup, in where we play against Premier League opposition Everton. We then discuss whether the latest patch has made our tactic unplayable and what we should do. If you wish to watch more videos like this one and further content on Football Manager, Hattrick and FIFA, I would highly recommend you to subscribe to my channel so that you don't miss any future videos. Right, let's jump right in. We are up against second place. We are third at the moment. Obviously, we've got a few teams with game in hand behind us, but this is a big game. And while I'm recording this, I'm actually watching for Sheffield Wednesday Rotherham game. We're losing one nil at the moment, so if I end up shouting or screaming, that's why. It's just one. It's going to be one of those games that we're for a better team, but we're going to lose. Um, I've just literally played two other games. So we played our Papa John's Trophy game against Mansfield. Played my B team, won that quite comfortably, one nil. I was a little scare with this loud goal, but technology saves us. I think VAR and. Then we played Bolton at home and we beat them 1-0 as well. And right, Peacock Farrell's back. Oh yeah, no, no, Bolton game. Remember that I asked, uh, was asked if I wanted to postpone for game. I said no, because we have a big enough team to fulfill it. So I think I had four players out international or three international, one injured. But Patson's coming back. Patson is coming back. Right, let's get a little rid of Luongo. He's suspended. Bring in Byers, but I'm not going to play him like now. So it's going to go Adenuran and Byers spot there. That's then he's not ready yet. Bring in Gregory. Marvin Johnson's last five games. But the thing is, he's, he was playing well. And then, um, yeah, the patch came out. And that's, I think that's where I need to change my tactics. His wing backs aren't performing. Uh, oh, yeah, Barino. Can't play Barino. He's awful. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to change Palmer over because his form is bad. But I will look at that. I've been saying that. I've said it on the last upload. Right. Look at, I'm going to look at my formation. I might go play four at the back with a um, DM. Yeah, playmaking DM. we banning, paint pinging out for balls. Do we want Patson on the bench? Have we got enough where I can change? Yeah, I think so. This is a big game. Maybe we'll our biggest game this season, apart from Charlton, first game of the season, but I didn't realise Charlton was going to do so well. Uh, top of the league. I'm doing free kick. McCormick. Oh, start building a bit of XG. Oh, free kick McCormick again. <sighs> Feels like Chef Wednesday, what from bloody game? All over them, and they, um, they get the goal. Two free kicks in a row. Go on, Gregory. Barry. Good hold up play. Byers to Gregory. I think that's offside. <laughs> Thought that was offside. He got through. Okay, it was online. Get in. Bit hesitant now, my celebration. Okay, half time. With a better team. They had two free kicks in a row and managed to get one put away. That Luke McCormick's playing well. Yes, 
I'm proud of you guys so far. It's been a good half. Yeah, we're playing a bit stagnated here. Don't think we're enjoying ourselves, which is good. Got a good possession. I don't want to change anything tactically because actually we're playing well. Palmer's not enjoying himself on that left. So, Marvin Johnson. Barry Balance had a couple of rubbish games, you know. Strikers are playing well. Uh, I think that'd be my only change from that. Here we go. We got a set piece. It's going to go against the game, isn't it? We're going to get a bloody goal. I'm going to try something. I mean, what have we got to lose, right? Bring Johnson up as a wide midfielder. Same with Hunt. But what we'll do is we'll take Hunt off and play Shadowbow, the wide midfielder. And then we are, we keep him as a pressing forward. We'll play two cams. And I would like to bring on Lewis Wing for Camberry. Play Byers as a support attacking midfielder. Just a little tweak of our formation, see if we, we can change it, get a win. I mean, no, we've got a minute left of the game now. Oh, no. Oh, oh Jesus. Hmm, maybe they didn't like that change then. It's gone very um, central. That's it. I think this game is all over. Okay, one all. Get second place. Away. I'll take it. My mic is on now. Ah, oh, what a noob. What a noob. I did all the pre-game stuff and for start of this game, Everton, our fourth round Carabao Cup tie. We are losing. We are losing 2-0. It's um, for 30th minute. And I recorded all that footage with my mic on mute. I've deleted that footage now. No point doing it. Basically, we've started off the game with our usual tactic. We're going into this game with a shock loss. We was at home. We lost to Lincoln. Lincoln was at 18th. We lost 2-1. We was 2-0 down. Brought Patterson on. Changed our tactics around and got the goal back. And deserved to lose. And I know that I've been saying to you guys before. I'm thinking about getting rid of this 3 at back or 5 at back. Whatever formation you want to call it. I'm just not happy with it. I just... It's not exciting. Yes, we're in playoffs. Yes... Before we lost to Lincoln, we had only lost two games all season. But I'm not excited by it. So what I'm thinking about doing is actually having a home and an away formation. Play more direct long ball away, like a lot of teams do. And then when we're at home, play not so Barcelona. But I still want to be cautious but creative at the same time. So I'm going to use the formation that I created by tweaking Barcelona's formation, but being more cautious, be a little more direct in their passing. And the formation that they came back, 3-0 down, got 3 all. Yes, we lost the game 4-3. But what amazing game that was. If you missed it, go check the link. But yes, I'm going to implement that now. We're just changing the team around a little bit. So we've got Kimberry up front, wing behind him, Cabanu. Should have come on for Dunkley. Bannon, Luongo, Johnson... A youngster defender, he's been on really, really good form. I all for Hunt and then pick up that one goal. So let's go. I'm not expecting a comeback. The quality of Everton is just going to be too superior. But you just never know. They're all over us. Absolutely. I don't even think we've had a shot on target yet. No. Nine shots, five on target for Everton and us, zero. So even with this change of tactic, if it brings us an attempt, I'll be happy. <laughs> Is that just an improvement, right? So first half, yeah, all over us. So since change of formation, we was 55% possession. But obviously, they was like, yes, we got shot and one on target. Amazing. As I was saying, our possession has now drastically changed. We was holding possession. But now we're giving them more possession with this formation. And we've got shot on by giving less possession. So... I'm happy with that change. Oh, I'd be happy if we can come away with this just with two 0 I'm going to give Patson another run out. Let's put, let's give Bashiru a game. So a couple of players there to build up their match fitness. Why not? Game's dead. Come on, I'll attack it. Oh, good ball. Patson, can he get two and two since his return? Oh, unlucky. Oh, wing. <laughs> that might put a little bit of pressure on them if we nicked a goal in. Better second uh, second half performance by us. 
Oh, they got through. Cover it, Lauren. Great save, Peacock Farrell. I'm liking what I'm seeing from this formation. Oh well, move on. Thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please leave a like. If you would like to watch more videos like this, please subscribe. And to be notified, click on the bell.